Eczema is treatable but it is not curable. Hi everyone, welcome to Ask Me Doctor Season 2, a video series for you parents to learn more about your children's health. I am Hazel from motherhood.com.my. People say that skin changes and problems among children are very common, especially in their first three years of life. But how do we differentiate what are common and those that need intensive care and treatment? Rest assured mummies and daddies, today we have Dr. Joanne Rajak, a consultation pediatrician from ABC Children's Specialist Clinic to answer our questions. Hello Dr. Joanne, how Hello. are you? Hello, hi Hazel. Nice to see you once again. Good to have you. Let's go right into our first question. Right. So then, is it true that eczema has several types? Yes, there are several types of eczema. However, the most common type is atopic dermatitis. Uh, atopic dermatitis basically is uh, a complex interaction between genetic predispositions. A child who has a strong family history of allergies, which interacts with environmental triggers, and due to the abnormal immune response. What are the common causes of eczema? So in eczema, as I mentioned earlier on, it's a complex interaction between genetic predisposition with environmental triggers. So when we talk about the triggers of eczema, that would include um, prolonged contact of the skin with sweat. So sweat actually acts as a skin irritant. Using harsh cleansers, inadequate moisturization of the skin, so sometimes in some children, uh, the contact with arrow allergens. Arrow allergens means irritants in the air. That would include um, mold, pollen, animal fur. Sometimes in eczema, the triggers could be things like overgrowth of bacteria. For example, a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus. And uh, last but not least, stress can also worsen eczema. So it's not unusual to see a child uh, eczema worsens when the child is unwell. Question number eight, is eczema treatable? If yes, how can it be treated? Eczema is treatable but it is not curable. The most important thing in treating eczema is to relieve the itching, to reduce the inflammation and to prevent further eczema flare-ups. So depend on how bad the eczema is, the treatment can include giving oral antihistamines antibiotic cream, steroid cream, red wraps or even steroid sparing agents. But what's very important at the same time is to maintain uh, the hydration of the skin with a good hypoallergenic moisturizer as well as using gentle cleanser. And the best time to moisturize your skin or moisturize your baby's skin would be within 3 minutes after bathing. Okay, our next question is eczema hereditary? Yes, it is. Uh, in a child with one allergic parent, the risk of the child developing um, eczema or other allergies is as high as 20 to 40 percent. And this increases to 60 to 80 percent if both parents are affected. You also mentioned some of the home remedies, right? Uh, or things to take note. But when do I know that I should bring my child to see a pediatrician? I think the most uh, important thing, um, or well, when we talk about rash generally, any rash which comes along with fever. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Parents do need to be a little bit more cautious and bring their child to see a doctor. That also includes rash which causes discomfort to a child to such an extent that it disturbs the child's daily activities, for example, feeding and sleeping. Any skin infection that looks like there is bacterial infection, uh, these skin conditions tend to worsen with uh, weepy, uh, discharge or past discharge so that's another very important thing and last but not least skin condition which is uh, rapidly progressing in which the skin is red uh, there's swelling and also painful to touch thank you very much for sharing so much with us today uh, before we close this is there anything you would like to add okay so skin condition insurance is common however the good thing about it that it's transient and it's also treatable but for children with eczema specifically having a good moisturization regime and also avoiding the trigger factors is very important to reduce flare-ups thank you very much dr joanne for sharing the new knowledge with us for more videos about our children's health stay tuned for the upcoming videos on ask me doctor next two weeks we'll cover topic about autism meltdown and also about seeds Thank you for watching our video. I'm Hazel. And I'm Dr. Joanne. This is motherhood.com.my. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.